Terry, it is so nice to meet you and so nice to talk to you today. I'm really, really happy that you're here with us. Well, Thank you so much. It's my pleasure to be here and awesome. share some of my experience. Thank you so much. Terry, tell us a little bit about yourself. A little bit about myself. Well, I'm 74 years old, uh, soon to be 75. When I was a kid, I never thought I'd live that long. Wow. If I okay. did realize that, I would have brushed my teeth more often <laughs> and saved some more money. Uh, basically, I'm a Calgarian. All my life, I was born here, born in, uh, in this area. Actually, just over in uh, well, I don't know what the area is called now, but I've lived in Briar Hill, Houndsville Hill, and yeah. this area of the city, Calgary, for many years. Uh, went to Briar Hill School, Bratton School, Eberhardt School, and then the University of Calgary. Did a Bachelor of Science degree at the University of Calgary, and then I went to uh, at that time when I graduated in 1971. That was the time that the uh, the Faculty of Medicine was just starting up at, at the University of Calgary and uh, some of my uh, professors uh, talked to me and they said, we noticed you're very good with your hands and good in the laboratory. So they offered me a position as a technologist in their laboratory. So it was uh, great times. We were all uh, new and young and enthusiastic about research and uh, I worked uh, 26 years wow. in research at the Faculty of Medicine. In Calgary, and then I thought, well, let's see whether I can survive in the private sector. So I, uh, I went back to school for a year, for a couple of years, to SAIT, and took a degree in a bachelor technology degree in information technology, and then I got a job with General Electric for uh, five or six years. A very intense company, but an incredible experience. Neat. And then after that, I pretty much retired. Okay. And, uh, but retirement to me is not sitting around uh, on the sofa watching TV. Right. It's, it's continuing your work. And once you've been bitten by the research bug, yeah. uh, you want to continue doing that. And I'm still doing research. Uh, yeah. I'm writing own. papers. And writing papers. Yeah. I do investigative journalism. Awesome. Uh, I love it. You know, Good it keeps you. your mind active, and yeah. uh, it's what I do. And and uh, so you're a smart we guy. Well. I find that, uh, and I'm, we can probably get into this later in the interview, that autism has given me some special qualities that make mm. me very good at investigative journalism sure. and at writing. Yeah. And uh, so, so do you think you see things differently with yes. having autism? Okay. Yes, I, I definitely do. In uh, what way? <laughs> I'm very detail oriented. Yep. And that was one of my strengths in research. Obviously, because research, you have to be very observant, and sure. observe details, and uh, every manuscript I write uh, is investigated, right, make sure everything is totally accurate. Yeah. I have uh, 600 publications, and I'm very proud of the fact that not one has ever been retracted or questioned. Holy smokes. Or anything. They've all been pretty well received. So wow. I'm, so you're <laughs> thorough and I'm smart. Very thorough. Well, I, I don't know. It's... It, Everybody has different kinds of smartness, yeah. and that's one of the things with, with, um, with the brain. Uh, there's a move, like I've, when I was in medicine, I was working with neuroscience. Mm -hmm. And one of the things in neuroscience that's coming up right now is the concept of neurodiversity. Yep. It's always been there, I yep. mean, and it's the concept that brains, not everybody's brain it works the same. Some people, we all have gifts in different ways. Totally. Some people are very gifted at music. I mean, I was hopeless at music. Yeah. But other people, they can compose, they can play the piano or play so, any instrument. With it's very just, little effort, right? It's a natural skill exactly. that comes to them. Yeah. You know, and that's just one example yeah. of things that, you know, each brain, we're all unique in some way. Sure. And, and so would you say that science is your sort of niche? I think so. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah very much so. And, and health and wellness is something I'm so, tremendously interested in. Yeah. Health and wellness and 
older adults. Yeah. Something is really important. Yeah, you said you've been at the gym for all day or most all of day today. All day today, yeah. I yeah, there. working <laughs> out. Day. Oh, yeah. In the summer, I have bicycles and I'm cycling yeah. all summer day because that's important to get out sure. and do things. You know, yeah, so that's, use that's your body. Do, so. Yeah, that's brilliant. <laughs> so how, so tell us a little bit about when you were diagnosed. Like what, did you, did you know right from uh, early on that <laughs> you saw things a little different? Well, that's an interesting question because when I grew up in the 60s and 70s yeah. and as a kid, the, the terms that they used for people that had my sort of traits mm -hmm were introverted, mm. uh, shy, yeah. uh, not socially skilled. Mm -hmm. And so you were often labeled, sure. which was a terrible thing to do to a kid, to label them as being shy yeah. or introverted. Yeah. Because then you, it was self-fulfilling for sure. <laughs> prophecy. Yeah. I mean, you just said, oh, I'm shy, therefore, you know. Not much that's, is That's expected. the way it is. Yeah. Nothing I can do about it. You know, I'm, I'm like that. Yeah. Or retarded was the, that was also another thing. You're just not yeah. that smart. And then, uh, I mean, I, uh, well, you in earlier videos that we've done for autism. I mean, I've told the story that I was it was a very lonely child yeah. growing up. It was very difficult to uh, make friends. Sure. To participate in social activities, I made. Oh no, I'm not going to the party. <laughs> you yeah. know, type of yeah. thing. You know, cause I'm not easier I, to stay I'm, home. I'm scared to. I mean, yeah. I, I was scared to go to a party because I, I couldn't interact. Yeah. You know, like other people. So, yeah. uh, oh, but, I'm but you know, it's Terry, I, I so so. <laughs> so what happened was, I mean, I got when I retired, or even before then, I was always interested in athletics and yeah. working out. So, you know, you get to know people in the athletic community. So I was in the gym one day and talking to somebody and. Uh, he was a doctor, and uh, he said, uh, <laughs> you know, I've been watching you, you know, and he said, could I ask you a few questions? Uh, I said, yes. So he asked me a couple of questions, you know, about my relationships with people and uh, things like this, and he said, well, you know, he was a, he said, I'm a psychiatrist, and I, I believe you have autism. Mm. And then he said, can I ask you a few more questions about this? And he asked me a few more questions, and I responded. <laughs> he said, "Yes, you you definitely wow. have autism." And I thought, "Oh my God, what?" <laughs> you know, I, I, you know I, I've heard the word before, yeah. but I didn't really understand what autism Sir. was. And uh, so, uh, and that was uh, actually quite a pivotal <laughs> moment. So yes, I'm so sure. I went home and I went on the computer. I looked up autism and what it was all yeah. about. Yeah, this this is the reasons. Makes so sense. It made a you know it was a very pivotal moment in my life to actually get a label other than yeah. shy or introverted or sure. retarded yeah. to my behavior and, and it it changed my life basically. Wow. You know because I read all about autism and I realized that you know autism is a spectrum of, sure. of different things and yeah. uh, you know experiences I have with autism. Uh, are may or may not be similar to other people yeah. that have autism, and there's a whole continuum. It's yeah. called autism spectrum. Yeah, for a reason. Sure. And to me, this is this is wonderful to finally yeah. realize that all of a know, sudden there's a this, reason, right? And it was not a bad thing. Yeah. There's really yeah. nothing wrong with me. Yeah. Other than I had a a brain that worked differently from sure. other people. Yeah. And uh, you know, I mean, I didn't have the smart kind of autism where. You didn't have the smart yeah. kind of autism. No, I mean, you're, I you've got 600, yeah. 600 published, you know, yeah. not like papers. the good. You know, if you've seen the Good Doctor television, yeah. I'm not that kind of smart. Yeah, but I, I can cope with a lot of things now. I understand why now why people react they do mm. when they speak with me and mm -hmm. why I have difficulty Interesting. talking to other people, and it's made a difference because now. If people react unfavorably to me, I realize it's not me. Mm -hmm. It's their lack of understanding yeah. of what autism is mm -hmm. and why I act this way. <laughs> I had to do a lot of educating of people so, as to why I am the way yeah. I am and why I respond the way yeah. I do and why sometimes I might say things that are inappropriate. Yeah or act differently than other people. Yeah. 
or have difficulty with responding to mm -hmm. something or going out with them socially. Sure. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm quite accepting of that now. Sure. So, uh, I mean, it's, it was like uh, when you hear stories of, 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 of boys or men who come out as being gay. Mm -hmm. They suddenly say, that when I came out as gay, yeah. this person says, it was such a relief yeah. to me. My whole life changed. And this is the same sort of yeah. effect. Interesting. It's the whole, wow. Yeah. It was the answer to I'm all not, those questions, probably. Yeah, like, like they say, well, I, you know, that's the way I am. I'm not scared to tell people anymore yeah. that I'm gay. And and same thing with autism. I'm not scared to tell people yeah. that I'm autistic. And so, and I say, oh, what's autism? And then you tell yeah. them and explain sure. it to them. And uh, I mean, and they don't understand that it is as common as it it's is a very, very common. common thing. It's very common. And everybody has different degrees of it. Yeah. So that's what, I, that's what I, <laughs> I, I that That's amazing. And I love the part, Terry, where you said it was like a relief. It was like this weight's been lifted off your shoulders, right? So much. So much. I love that. Yeah. I love that. So, so you made a comment about you were shy or, or people had said you were shy. Yeah. You, to me, you aren't shy. I mean, you and I have been sitting here for how long having a conversation. <laughs> yeah. How do you, like, so, so there, there has been some shift for you Definitely. In, it, in coping, right? Definitely. With, and the shift was knowing is what, that the, what the really, problem was. Is that yeah. the shift? And it just, all of a sudden, it just came up. Well, you know, why am I? Why am I hiding? Why do I have this mask? Yeah. On. Yeah. You know, I I don't need to do that. I mean, Interesting. <laughs> and now people say you talk too much. You know. Well, you probably got a lot to say if you've been shy for a long time. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but like the shyness was very like oh my family were you know oh he's shy yeah you know and your grandparents yeah your parents and like that. And you get that label and just oh yeah go. so it's uh, so you kind of fulfill I mean, that. There's no fault of theirs. Yeah. You know, it's just at the yeah. time in the 60s, in those yeah. years, that was how they, that's the way it was. Sure. <laughs> so do you know anybody else um, who, who has autism later and, and was sort of found out later? Not really. Really? I'm, uh, when I'm talking to people about it, uh, they say, oh, well, my nephew is mm -hmm. autistic. Yeah. Or, you know. Or my uh, sister was, mm -hmm. or something like that, and uh, then they look at the video and say, "Wow, I'm going to show this to the sure. to them." <laughs> so that's how I go. That's but funny. as far as other seniors, people, yeah. no, I don't really know of too many. Interesting. Uh, and I and so the question then, Terry, is: Is it that they've not been diagnosed, um, and may have some of those traits of autism, or have, uh, or or? Yeah, why? I think that's part of it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, certainly if I would, if I ever met somebody that sort of like, that I thought yeah. might have this syndrome at some level, sure. I would I would have no hesitation yeah. in asking them. Talking to them about it, yeah. Suggesting that, I mean, there's there's quizzes on the internet that you sure. can take. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just, just try this and see how it comes out for I you. I love it. You know? So... Uh, you know, this is why, you know, quite frankly, this is why I'm doing these videos. Yeah, I love it. If, if it makes a difference in somebody's life and it helps them to uh, mm -hmm. change their life like it changed my life, sure. it's well worth it. Yeah, yeah. So, Terry, you said you're 74. That's right. Um, so how, how it, now obviously the, a significant factor in the, in the shift in your life is the fact that you got this diagnosis relatively recently. Yeah. How how is your life? So you're 74 now, soon to be 75. In another 10 years, you're going to be 85. How do you see your life um, now and into your future? Are you going to stay where you're living? How does that look? Yeah, that's something actually I've been giving a lot of thought yeah. to. Because right now I'm living in a house, detached yeah. house, uh, pretty much by myself. Sure. So I can do my own thing. Uh, if I want to interact with people, I can, I mm -hmm. vote, and I do it in the gym. If I want to get away from people and be by myself, part of autism, I can go into my house and yeah. just 
me Armand in the sure. house and go to the yard and do my thing in the yard and yeah. not have to interact with people. Right. And that's almost therapeutic. But what I'm thinking of is that in future years I may have to uh, move into more of a care facility for sure. lack of, where you're more surrounded by other people uh, on a 24-7 yeah. basis and you'd be in a position where you're, you have to have your meal, you know, not have to, but you would be sharing your meals sure. and your living accommodations yeah. with with other people, and that's uh, what that that's feel a like? challenge. That's going yeah. to be a different life. Yeah, and it's going to be something that I'm going to have to overcome, and uh, something that uh, we have been talking about uh, with some people is, mm -hmm. you know, um, housing. Yeah, quite frankly, sir. That. You would be in how, uh, intentional housing, I guess sure. is the term you call, with other, other people. autistic people, yeah. yeah, that you know that would understand, sure, each other sure. and what they're going through. Because yeah. it'd be it'd be very difficult to be in a, a senior's place where people don't understand those sorts of things. Yeah. I mean, I know they try hard and do yeah. things, but it would be a much better experience. <laughs> To be in a senior's facility, yeah, with other autistic people, yeah, and perhaps with a person that's running that facility who understands autism. That's a brilliant idea, and could uh, come out. So, uh, yeah, I think there's a, it's a great real idea. need for that kind of housing, yeah. and even for any other kind of a mental disability. If you're with other people who have the same conditions, then yeah. it's so much better. Sure. It's kind of comforting, isn't it? it People understand it. Yeah. And, and that's, so that's probably my, <laughs> yeah. my greatest fear of getting sure. older. And, and, uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. Awesome. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> they're, they're hard conversations, right? Some of yeah. this stuff. Like, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's hard to think about, hard to talk about. Yeah. But again, yeah. It's, it's, it's the understanding that, yeah, you're autistic. And yeah. This is it. And there's... I mean, there's a tremendous amount of good information on the internet. Sure. About oh, yeah. Sorts of things, but, Stuff that wasn't on there in the 50s and 60s. Yeah. Well, it wasn't even an internet in those yeah. times. Yeah. If you go to the appropriate sites that are giving proper authoritative information, yeah. there's a lot of garbage out there, too, sure. which you don't yeah. want to get involved sure. in. But if you look at the credentials of the people that are presenting the information, yeah. And there's a lot of people on the internet that share their stories, yeah. just like we are doing. And uh, I mean, that's a that's a good thing. Absolutely, it's, it's getting the story out there. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your personal relationships. Do you have like friends? Do you have a partner? Family members? <laughs> that's <laughs> you're a very good question. <laughs> yeah, that's another one. It's uh, it's it's difficult to make. Genuine friends. Yeah. Uh, people, uh, I mean, you tell people that you're autistic, and that's fine. But there's always that, uh, it's not the same mm -hmm. as if you were a quote-unquote normal person yeah. with a friend. Right. It's, it's, just, it's just not the same. Uh, it's difficult to put into words why it's not the same, but it's just... You just can't make the connection mm -hmm. with them that a normal person other people do. could make with another yeah. person. I mean, they're, and again, it's not their fault. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's my, it's my issue. <laughs> but, I mean, you sort of, you do often get shadowed of things. I mean, if they're all going to the bar tonight, or we're having a party this weekend, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or... Uh, we're going somewhere, or uh, for me, uh, you going? Oh, you going on a bike? You riding a bike? Well, how about like I say? Well, how about coming on a bike trip with me? Well, oh no, no, I'm busy, you know. And and this is it. We we don't we don't really, you know, we're fine. We understand, but they don't say that. But unconsciously, they really would prefer not to have you there. You're, Interesting. And, uh, you're quirky, mm. you know. <laughs> Sometimes the word in yeah. the good doctor. I mean, they said that yeah. in one of the scripts. They said, you know, I mean, that's a very well researched mm -hmm. um, 
uh, show. So, and that was one of the things uh, that he had. You know, uh, well, you're you're quirky. You know, uh, he, uh, no, I don't want you coming to see me, my mm -hmm. friends. You know, so uh, that's one of the really challenges relationships yeah. with. The other one is with uh, ladies, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> sir. You know, I mean, uh, it's it's very difficult. I mean, and and again, I can understand it. I mm. mean, uh, most women, uh, and this is not a fault. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not criticizing it or anything like that. But they'd rather be with a uh, a partner, mm -hmm. who I mean, one of their main, is, who is a fun guy mm. at parties, you know. I mean, and that's nothing wrong with that. Sure. But I mean, I am not a fun guy at parties yeah. because I find that interaction to be extremely yeah. difficult. Yeah. So I mean, it's only another person who has autism. Or perhaps has a person in their family who has autism, who would understand, yeah. and would want you to mix socially sure. in, in a genuine way with them. Yeah. So, you know, your 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 field of people that you can have relationships with is much, much, much smaller. It's pretty limited. Yeah, it's pretty limited. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, wow. I mean, I'm single. I mean, sure. I mean, cause it's very difficult to establish that yeah. relationship with a with a lady. Yeah, you know, so uh, it's always been difficult. So, uh, I mean, that's, sometimes that's, it's just easier to go it alone. Then, isn't <laughs> exactly, it? Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's just you just yeah, yeah. It is. It's easier just to, to be single. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and and it, it is. Uh, yeah. There. Yeah. I mean, there's no end of the drama that goes I mean, on in yeah. relationships, I mean, right? As in our society, sometimes being single is seen as a bad thing. Yeah. You know, why aren't you married? Yeah. Like you get that quite often. Yeah. Well, I don't think marriage would uh, work for me. No. It really wouldn't, yeah. and uh, it's better just to to be to live. I mean, I have no regrets. Yeah. I mean, I lived a good life as a single single man. Sure. And. Uh, yeah, you know, that's that's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. No, <laughs> I've accepted yeah. that, and that's what Absolutely. it is. Absolutely. And what about your family, Terry? Are you close with your family at all? Do you have siblings? Oh, and uh, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and they're pretty good. I mean, yeah. they're, they're don't none of them live in Calgary anymore. Okay. I was the only one that stayed in Calgary. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I think they may find it difficult too. I mean, it's, sure. I mean, we're close. Yeah. I mean, it's good that way. But there's still this uh, barrier. Yeah. It comes Interesting. Up. <laughs> and so, so um, we were having conversations about mental health. Yes. And, and because lots of this stuff, um, uh, you know, relates back to mental health, yes. self-care, how we see ourselves in the world, how we feel about that. Absolutely. D to talk to me a little bit, if you would, about um, mental health and, and have you, uh, how do you feel about your own kind of self-care and your own mental health? Once I realized I had Asperger's and diagnosed like that, it improved a lot. Wow. Up till then, I was a very shy person, uh, very seldom go out. Uh, you would never see me dressed in shorts wow. <laughs> or going out or... Yeah. Uh, uh, now I can, I feel better about asserting myself. Okay. Uh, uh, I was always reluctant to uh, state an opinion okay. on anything. Because, you know, is it opinion because I'm autistic, don't understand the issue fully? Mm -hmm. or, or what, you know, I, I, I was scared of being, you know, uh, saying something inappropriate. Right. Or, uh, or venturing an opinion that might be, or standing up for myself and my own ideas yeah. might be different from other people. Sure. And people would say, "Oh, uh, you're just saying that because you're you're shy, or you're yeah. autistic, or you're introverted, or, yeah. <laughs> or something like that." Rather than you're saying that because you you thought about it a lot. Yeah, you really you, know what you're talking about, and uh, you see the world in maybe a different way. Yeah, and uh, whether it's better or worse, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but you you still have the right yeah. to state an opinion. If they don't like it, sure. that's fine. But it's, well, it's how I feel about sure. something. And I'm much better at sharing my feelings now with people. Yeah. And, and certainly now I'm much better with spontaneous mm -hmm. 
speaking to people. Sure. Me before I would never, ever, ever go up to a person and introduce myself and talk to oh. them or something like that. But now yeah. I really don't have, <laughs> I mean, I watch the body language, but I really don't feel that uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. going to talk to a talk to a stranger or somebody so, else. So so it, it kind of strikes me then, Terry, that for, for years and years and years you kind of weren't your you weren't being your true self. You weren't being your your authentic self. You I were was, kind of yeah. uh yeah. stuffing that down. Yeah. It was my authentic self as I saw myself at that time. Yeah. But now I realize that that really wasn't me. You, you know? can be different. I was different inside. Yeah. yeah. But that, that would bring about, you know, even I think about even things like anxiety or, you know, or, uh, or kind of depression, worrying about, uh, you know, yeah. Anxiety was terrible. Mm. I, I was a scared little kid. Wow. <laughs> I can imagine. You know, yeah. You know, don't, don't talk to me. Or, yeah. Oh my God, an examination coming up. And, oh, oh my God, dear. Yeah. Am I yeah. smart enough? I don't mean. But no, none of that stuff bothers me yeah. anymore. No. <laughs> I love that. That's so good. Terry, I, I, do, I find you fascinating. I, I have to first of all say that. Do, do, anything, do you have any words of wisdom in your 74 years that you wish you would have known 73 and a half years ago or your parents, you wish your parents would have known or your teachers? Sure. Yeah. And just before we get into that, yeah. I'd just like to say a couple things. Like yes, I still please. have moments where things bother me a lot. Yeah. There's still things that for some reason it bothers me a lot. Hmm. Like I get very upset if I'm hearing somebody talk on a cell phone. Mm. It's a one way conversation. Oh. That is something like for some reason that hmm. really irritates me. If I'm on the C train and somebody's talking into their cell phone. Right. I find that very irritating, and I don't know why. It's just the brain. I the way mm -hmm. my brain works, you know, and uh, so. I, but I, now I have to realize that you know, uh, there's no point in lashing out at this yeah. person or saying something. I have to. So would you I have, have before, to cope with that myself. for sure? Yeah. Would you have before lashed out at them? How would you have handled that before you probably knew? Uh, okay in a more yeah <laughs> and not accepted yeah fashion? I mean, I would have probably talked to them, you know. A, yeah. Shut up, you know. Right. Uh, yeah. I mean, I still say that occasionally if, sure. if they're talking loud on the on the street yeah. and on the cell phone. I yeah. mean, that's just a quirky thing that I have sure. that bothers me. The other thing that bothers me, and it's a quirky thing, is too when I'm going down the street on the sidewalk and people are on the wrong side of the street. Mm. If I'm walking or if I'm riding my bicycle or something like that, it really bothers me that. They're on the wrong side of the sidewalk. Oh, this is the right side of the sidewalk. Yeah. I'm allowed. I'm. This is the convention gallery to walk like that, you know. And that <laughs> you know, it might sound silly, but yeah, it's so something that to me, I find very difficult to deal with. Yeah. You know, why are they walking on the wrong side of the sidewalk? This is not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, so what would you say to them? Uh, I, I just keep walking, quite frankly. And hoping that they'll move over. Hoping that they'll move over, you know. Yeah. And, and actually, they do. Yeah. You know. But yeah. Anyway, so, I love it. So let's get back I to the question it. you were asking. So. Yeah. So no, I was just I, I was just saying I find you truly fascinating. I Thank you. I absolutely love your story. I am so glad <laughs> that I got the chance to talk to you. Do you do you have any um, words of wisdom for y your family, for your parents, something that you wish you knew? <laughs> years and years and years ago that would yeah. have made a difference <laughs> my words of wisdom would probably be more directed towards not necessarily my family or that but uh other people who feel that they are different yeah in some way and they don't understand why they're different in yeah. some way and i would really suggest that if you're like that and you're having difficulties with relationships or anything, uh, talk to somebody about mm -hmm. it. Talk to your family about it. Yeah. Uh, talk to a professional. Talk to your medical doctor. Yeah. If all that fails and you feel shy about doing something like that, go on to the internet yeah. and 
look at some of these, view some of these videos of people who have come out as being autistic, hear their story and how they are capering with it. And then if you feel that, you know, you have characteristics that are similar to what they have, you know, talk to your doctor. It's, it's very simple to find yeah. out that you are maybe like that. And I can guarantee you that it will make a tremendous difference yeah. in your life. And uh, you, you come out as autistic. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing yeah. to be ashamed about. And in, in my case, and probably in the case of a lot of other people, it's something to be very actually proud of. Sure. Because you realize that, oh, I, yeah, I can't do these sorts of things, but I can do, I'm very good at doing other things. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, don't, I mean, for goodness sake, you know, it's your life. Yeah. Live it to the full. And if this helps you live that life to the full, and uh, do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Such no, great please. advice. Such great <laughs> advice, Terry. Honestly, you oh. are uh, you're a gem. Oh, thank you. Thank you for. <laughs> I'm starting to cry. <laughs> I honestly, I I just um, you're amazing, yeah. and I I do appreciate your time yeah, no. today. Be your be your genuine it's, person. Who well, thank your, you. Your genuine <laughs> self. Yeah, that's that's what yes. you have to do, and you totally need to. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. Thank you for being you. Welcome.